I mean, last week, again, we saw the CDC lift even more of these mask mandates. In theory, that should mean that the country is preparing to get back to normal as we enter the summer months. What is summer going to look like in the House of Representatives, in your estimation? I mean, one thing that we're anticipating is um, this insane, uh, well, insanely large infrastructure bill anyway, that we're finally going to see the text of maybe at some point this month. What's the news on that? The Democrats are going to work to continue wasteful, inefficient spending. We saw $1.9 trillion under the guise of COVID, even though most of that money isn't being spent in the near future to address COVID. It's being spent to put forward a democratic liberal agenda. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure, only a small portion of that, less than 10% goes to things that we would traditionally call infrastructure, roads and bridges, ports and airports. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of those funds are going into a liberal democratic spending agenda. And so what we're working on is to get this word out, to make it politically unpalatable for the Democrats to move forward with this liberal wish list, rather than let's get focused in on what we actually need to do, mm -hmm. the aging infrastructure of the United States of America, or restarting the Keystone Pipeline. That's true. So it does seem like there is some common ground, some bipartisanship in terms of the fact that certain places in America, particularly uh, parts of the rural landscape, do need some updates in terms of their infrastructure. Where do you see sort of the two parties coming together on that? And what is the state of sort of the shared debate about this forthcoming bill? Is there room for compromise? Do you think that Republicans will successfully talk Democrats down from uh, some portion of this of this spending cliff that they're on? It's going to be a question of whether or not the political pressure builds on the far on, on the on the Democrats that mm -hmm. they can't really enact their far left liberal agenda all the way that they want to. So what we're trying to point out is look at the amount of wasteful, inefficient spending in some of these plans. If the bill came forward that was an investment in our roads and our bridges and America's infrastructure to take us to the next century, I think you could see support from Republicans. But if we continue to see inefficient, wasteful spending like we've seen from the Democrats, I think you're going to see Republicans take a pass.